Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next base destruction video. And I wanted to get right back into the content rich videos, so I went ahead and skipped the mini tip for today. And because uh, it's been a while since I've had an actual uh, content type video outside of the subscriber celebration and mini tips and stuff. So, anyway, uh, this is another base destruction video, and we're taking a look at this Town Hall 9 from the most recent war. And uh, first, let's just take a look at the base, how it's set up, what the strengths and weaknesses are. So again, it has this um, this kind of triangle set up like that, where you have the queen and the two double giant bomb sets kind of all equidistant from each other, which is pretty typical, and uh, it's a solid setup. This one uh, giant bomb sp spot is a little weird, because you'd think it would be a single trigger, but when you think about it, if you come at this archer tower, thing, things are going to go like that, then like that. And if you come from this direction, they're going to come up to the archer tower from this side. So the odds are they'll stay kind of on this side of the air defense. So it's kind of a tricky uh, double giant bomb spot, but I think it does work. And uh, it's definitely not expected because of that archer tower position. So anyway, I think it's a solid base. The other double giant bomb spot's good. This one tests the farm uh, kind of near the queen. I think neither attacker did this, but I think a queen walk would work if you went down like that and over, because you could get, um, I think you, you could get all those Teslas plus the uh, defensive queen because she's so exposed, just for the healers and the rage or something. So uh, no one did that, but that is something that probably could have worked. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about what ultimately is a deal breaker for this base when the second attacker three stars it, but let's take a look at the first attacker's plan. Uh, we have, I think it's Fahim, and he's coming in here with a Valkata, or kind of a Go Vaholo. He, he's just bringing a few Valks, a Golem, his heroes, a bit of a smaller kill squad. Then he has a combination of Balloons and Hogs for the rest of the base. And I think the Balloons are a great touch because you have all these uh, exposed defenses that are really easy to drop a Balloon on. So that, I think, is good. Um, but we'll look at what what goes wrong here because he comes in uh, with a golem like that and then he uh, just you know uses some minions I think maybe a few wizards creates his funnel like this he wants to enter in right there to get the queen first um, but the problem is the golem just goes up and starts beating on this wall to get to the Teslas and the main thing is there's nothing to really draw the golem into this compartment the expo is set pretty far back even if the Teslas weren't there, which obviously is very suspicious because it's an empty compartment right there, but even if they weren't there, uh, the Golem's still going to probably go over here even if the wall breakers uh, open everything up just because uh, that, t that expo is so deep into that compartment. So that's one thing. The Golem was kind of wasted. It ends up uh, going off in this direction and kind of gets destroyed by those Teslas. He comes in with... Uh, some Valks. I think he has four of his own and then some in the CC, then his heroes and some wall breakers. All that uh, comes in right here. I'll use yellow for the kill squad. Uh, but the queen actually ends up going up top here. I think the Teslas are part of it. They kind of drew her over and with no healers or anything on her, she goes down pretty quickly. And uh, worst case scenario, there's a dragon and balloons in the CC, so nothing can take those out. I think that maybe a few wizards are there, but they don't get the job done. The dragon ends up taking all his stuff out. Uh, he drops a jump right here, try to let everything move into the Tesla compartment, and I think try to get over and get that double giant bomb spot, but uh, doesn't work. The king goes this way. Uh, the kill squad just goes crazy on him, but I think the main thing is that golem was kind of wasted. Uh, the queen, just kind of unfortunate, she went up north for the Teslas, and things went downhill from there. So he comes in. Uh, with what he has left, but the dragon is still up, so it takes out his hogs as he sends them in. And my apologies, but I actually lost the end of that clip. All that happens here is after the hogs go in, goes ahead and sends a few balloons in, but it's pretty much over. The air defense is still up, uh, the dragon takes everything out. So uh, main things that happen is he lost the golem, uh, didn't get much value for the 30 troop space, it didn't really tank it off or anything, just went down to those Teslas. Then the queen goes north and uh, the dragon takes everything out along with the balloons. So good try. Let's go ahead and take a look at the attack and then we'll go ahead and move on from there. All right, here we go with Fahim's attack. Uh, you can see he's dropping down these minions right here. Just going to create the funnel. Uh, nice free, 
no need, nothing needed to tank to create the funnel. And that's always good if you can do that, save some damage, and uh, you can get your troops moving to the base a little bit quicker. Usually save some golem health the quicker the funnel is created. So very good there. Uh, drops in these few balloons, getting pretty good trades here. Uh, that minion's going to take out that cannon at the bottom. So all good there, uh, but you can see that golem's going to go up. It's going to engage like three of those Teslas. It's going to start going down pretty quickly. Uh, there go the Valks. Uh, it looks like something locked onto his queen. I didn't quite see what it was. Maybe the enemy queen. So it has to pop her ability up at the king. The Valks making their way in. They just get kind of spread out here. And nothing's able to take out those balloons or the dragon. So the Valks go down really quickly. And uh, that heal is just too late. Nothing's there to even get the value of it. So uh, everything's starting to go down here. Pops the king's ability. But he's going the wrong way. He's going to go through this little compartment here. Uh, take out a few buildings, but the dragon's going to take him down pretty quickly because nothing's there to take out that dragon. Uh, his queen's about to go down up top. Uh, she took out a little bit of the base, but uh, with no healers, she's going to be done pretty quickly. Comes in with these few hogs right here. Uh, they'll get a few buildings taken out. I think the balloons were intended to take out this bottom part of the base because the air defenses are kind of pushed up to the top. But because of that dragon, went ahead and dropped those hogs in. Uh, either way, not really much of a chance at this point. Drops in these last few balloons. He actually hit that double giant bomb set, which took out quite a few of his hogs, but this one's over anyway. We'll go ahead and go times four as these last few balloons come in, uh, and they go down. So it was a pretty good try, pretty good plan, but uh, that one Tesla farm really uh, made his golem useless, and uh, his queen went up north too. So uh, if you don't know what's in the CC, gotta make sure your queen goes into the base. Not really his fault, but... Uh, good try. We'll see what the next attacker did uh, to, to exploit this base to get the three star. Okay, the next attacker to hit this base is uh, Bender, I believe. And he comes in here and exploits a part of this base that I think is pretty important uh, to identify. And that's kind of how the compartments are set up. So if you look at this base, there's not really any kind of long, wide compartments that will throw off your troops or anything. Uh, so what he does here is he recognizes that all four of these air defenses are kind of pretty close together. They're not too spread out. Nothing's down south here, which would have helped the defender here. Um, and because the compartments are all kind of little boxes, uh, what it does is it allows him to come in here with the kill squad. And he doesn't have to worry about his troops wandering too much. Uh, this compartment, the walls are going to keep them in this area. Uh, I can drop down the jump here, and I believe a jump here just do a double jump to get to that queen. Uh, yeah, I believe it is double jump and uh, has, I think, three golems, the heroes, and uh, just makes his way into the queen, kind of an old fashioned golo, and then comes in with balloons to surround the rest of this base after all four of the air defenses go down. But that's the thing you want to look for on these types of bases. And he could have used Valks too. Uh, he went ahead and decided to use golems, but he could have used Valks too. Uh, both would have worked. Uh, but when you look at this, you can see that you can make these big pushes deep into the base when the compartments are like this, where they're naturally going to funnel your troops along. So with the jump here, this compartment, uh, this compartment right here, pretty small, uh, naturally they're just going to take that jump. And uh, from there, uh, there is the possibility of them going kind of north here, but the queen is going to start shooting. She's going to draw them in and uh, the walls along right here, make sure they stay up in the top half of this base. So just kind of the walls naturally guide his troops along, allow him to push deep into this space. And also what helps is you can see how many of these point defense, especially the cannons. Uh, this guy put like all of his cannons outside the base pretty much. Uh, are there any inside the base? I don't, I don't even think there are. Yeah, this guy really put his point defense pretty far out, which allows uh, Bender to make this kind of push because uh, there's not a whole lot of damage inside the base here. The Tesla farms up here, that's a lot of damage. It's kind of out of the uh, out of the situation for his kill squad. And then when he does come in with the balloons, he comes in heavy at the beginning, uses some rage, some haste to take out that Tesla farm quickly. And uh, that way he can uh, get that out of the way. So the rest of this base is pretty easy to overwhelm with balloons. So we'll take a look at the attack and then we'll wrap this thing up. Okay, here we go with Bender's attack. Uh, he went ahead and brought, I believe, four golems. So really big push here and can afford to do that because he's not bringing uh, any lava hounds. He has a ton of troop space 
just to make sure everything's tanking. And because of that, wants to make sure the king is really late, delay that king as long as possible. Because the worst case scenario is you bring all all these golems, you know, 120, yeah, 120 troops space just for the king to get too far out in front and die early. Plus, he needs that king to get all the way across the base to the queen. Um, so a bit risky here. I might have brought a few Valks and only like two golems uh, because he's really depending on his king a lot here. But uh, luckily, the CC troops don't do a whole lot of damage. The king's still at half health. The golems spread out really nicely here and tank for everything. The queen did uh, have to pop the ability because she was taking some damage. But right here, the golems are out back in front tanking. And uh, the king is low here, but has that second jump down. And uh, fortunately, the golems go up top to get that next, next air defense. But the king goes over and gets the queen. So everything works out really nicely there. All four air defenses down. Uh, the air sweeper is about to go down to those archers. Here come the balloons. Look at that rage, how early it is. Making sure the balloons are coming in uh, fast to the Tesla farm. He knows he has to deal with quite a bit of damage, plus some air traps in the area. So uh, that air sweeper goes down. That helps a lot. And then has the haste and the rage, uh, which took the Tesla farm out pretty quickly. Still has a few hastes left. Doesn't even need them. And he's really getting the full benefit of these golems. I mean... They pretty much tanked all the way until they were dead. The Golemites even got some tanking done. So great value there. And uh, things do get a little bit clumped up on that wizard tower, but has so many balloons left over. We'll go ahead and fast forward. Wizard's down for cleanup. Very nice there. Uh, but yeah, that's the moral of the story for this one, I guess. If those compartments are kind of those little boxes, you can push really deep into the base because your troops are naturally going to funnel along. And that can allow you to really come from the opposite side of the base whether it means getting both sets of double giant bombs or all four air defenses that really opens you up to use hogs or balloons on the rest of the base. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, more videos coming soon. I just wanted to get a nice content rich video out for you guys this morning. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Secretron out.